how are you enjoying London then? <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, I've always wanted to come to London ever since I was a little girl. And just to come here, everyone's really chill, and the food's great, and I love your transit system, Zarlina. It's a lot better than mine, anyway. It's a lot better than Atlanta. <laughs> Uh, so how do you feel about the cosplay here today? The cosplay is really good. I judged the uh, the qualifiers for the championship for London Supercon. And, I mean, it's going to be a really tight competition. There's, like, a couple of really amazing... Co- I mean, they're all amazing, but there's... I don't know. I'm already dreading having to pick with the winner. Because there's like, a couple people that's like, can't you just all come to Dragon Con? <laughs> I, I already have my favorite. <laughs> oh, really? What's your favorite? Hypergirl so far. That was... Is, so what is... I've never heard of Hyper... I've never heard of it as well. I just thought it was a brilliant one. It was really well put together, and I loved her skit. And I was actually just thinking about that costume when I was walking on the way here. I'm like, it was really, really, really cute. It worked well, because it, was, it wasn't... The traditional type of skin, I yeah. thought it was quite fun that yeah. way. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, it was really original. So, how do you feel about cosplay becoming more and more mainstream now? I love it. I because it's uh, with it being more mainstream, it means access to materials might become cheaper or easier for people so that people can continue to create great costumes. And for me, that's what I like. I like to see like really cool costumes, really innovative techniques, and you know, just I in essence, I'm like a big geek and I just want to see my my favorite characters come to life. So, if, it becoming mainstream helps that happen by other people dressing up as my favorite characters or me getting dressed up as some of my favorite characters. I'm like, I'm cool with that. So what characters you plan to do this year then? This year, I'm going to do Squirrel Girl, finally. And uh, I always, it's funny, I always say what characters I'm going to do, but then I always seem to do them like a year later. So I'm going to do Squirrel Girl. I'm going to do a Tifa from Final Fantasy. I'm hoping. I have the materials. And... Um, Gosh, I I don't know. I'm just like. There's a couple of Soul Calibur ones you mentioned. I already also. did a Soul Calibur. Well, who was it? It was Tira from Tira. Soul Calibur, and I just did Ash from League of Legends, and I did a Persona character. So I'm really excited about those. I've, I have to take pictures. I don't have any photos of them, and um, I'm trying to think what I have materials for. I'm actually drawing a blank. I got like Terra from Teen Titan that's like half done. I'm redoing Empowered, so. Good. It, it's weird. It's like I have plans, but then I'll totally get distracted. Like my friends are like, "Hey, let's do this costume girl." I'll be like, "Okay," and then I'll be like, "Okay, let's do that." And I'll, everything I've been planning is off to the side. This question is more personal for me, but what would you consider your most important piece of equipment is when making the cosplay? Uh, for sewing, my iron. Well, I mean a sewing machine, obviously, but an iron. And um, gosh, Google is really important. I've noticed. <laughs> a lot of people say Google. And then for the prop stuff, like a Dremel, so I use Dremel a lot. Is there any material you've used before that you just wouldn't go near again? It was too awkward, too expensive, or just uh, it's not that worth using? No, I mean, there's been a lot of really difficult materials, but I can't really... Th- I mean, leather, I, I'm always like... I don't have an industrial sewing machine, so my sewing machine, I'm always like trying to like pull it through. I mean, you could do a couple layers of leather... But recently, I had a friend show me how to like properly do, do leather by gluing down the seams and then sewing through them. And just my machine with the combination of the glue it just doesn't have enough torque to to push the like layers of leather through. So hopefully, I'll get like a. And my serger broke recently. That sucks too. <laughs> well, more equipment than me so far. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> so man, yeah, I'm trying to. You're asking the good questions. I was well, like totally are, not prepared. These are all for me, so I know <laughs> so I can go back and make your cosplay. Oh yeah, just take your time and I uh, like seriously like I I iron like after every step I iron my seams, I you know, press my seams. You get this thing called a ham for like corners, you know, uh, good scissors that are only fabric scissors, don't use them on paper, uh, good rulers, a cutting mat, um, you know, all, it's all these like little things that like you just, I sort of like add to my like armory, for lack of a better word. You like saying that word, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another quick question is for any of our fans, if they want to get hold of your prints, is there any way to get them other than at conventions? Yeah, you can totally go to uh, Riddle where the L is a one at Store Envy. Um, you can also go to my Facebook page and there's a link to my shop there. And uh, yeah, I'm hopefully going to be updating all my photos and I'm hope- I'm working on a calendar right now, not just for myself, but I'm also producing a calendar for the charity group that I'm part of, Cosplay for a Cause. What's that charity about? The charity is uh, each year I sort of try to pick a different cause. And this year I decided to do something for the Wildlife Conservation Society. 
because I'm such a huge advocate of animal rescue. Uh, I contacted about 14 other cosplayers, and the theme is superheroes with animals. So all the girls are dressing up as a DC hero or Marvel hero or some other superhero, and then they're taking pictures with animals. So we have one girl who took a picture with a rabbit as Zatanna. We have another girl taking a picture of uh, Black Widow with German Shepherds. Uh, we had, uh, I was amazed, uh, our one cosplayer, Megan Marie, she wore her Wonder Woman costume and took a picture with a bald eagle. So, cool. yeah, it's I, really cool. I take it this is what Squirrel Girl's for, or is this something uh, Well, I've always wanted to do Squirrel Girl, and now seems like as good a time as any. <laughs> so I'm going to use the, some of the squirrels that I've rescued and try to get a photo with them. And, no problem. But, yeah. Uh, and then before you go, anything you want to say to your fans while we're here? Or? Just thank you so much for, you know, following me. I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry about my spelling and my grammar online. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm really thankful because when I started, I did it and I still do it because I love the characters or I love making the costumes even though sometimes I get incredibly frustrated and that there's so many people out there that like what I do and I they I have to say like people on my page or people I meet at cons, they always make me laugh so it's funny to like be able to go online and just joke about stuff with people or I'll be like, why didn't I think of that joke? Why, the people who follow me are so brilliant. <laughs> you take the joke, Mark. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Emily. Thanks Thank for your time. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.